All right, here's your original government seal, the one we were first talking about, used all the way back uh, from 1999, was it, through uh, all those years. Yeah, 1999 to 2009, and through 2009, 2011, the next band I'm going to show you overlapped with this one. This is the one that came out in uh, 2009 and was around till late 2010. Yeah, I was right. Uh, this is the first version, no microprinting. Uh, you got your hologram over here with the rounded corners, your Habanos SA serial number over here. The next picture will show you a close-up of those rounded corners. All right. Also notice the half semicircle punches uh, that are put in there. I don't really know why those are there. I guess it has something to do with printing the hologram, but they should always be there nonetheless. So that's another little feature. Uh, moving right along. Here's the newest one that I just showed you on the punch box. This is the one, let me just uh, zoom out here a little bit. This is the one that came out late 2010 and by now, in 2014, we just saw it on the 2012 punch box. This should be on just about freaking everything. Notice the beveled corners on the hologram, okay? Uh, and your serial number all the way down over there. And now I'm going to show you another image of this one. Bang! And those little circles represent where exactly to look for the micro-printed serial numbers I was just talking about. Zoom in a little here. Okay, and you can see that there's one way up in the corner just left of the hologram uh, after the first box of art and that number is the entire serial number. You'll notice the next two circles next to all the little cuba cuba cubas and in the tobacco field that's the first half of the number and the second half of the number. <laughs> Very cool. Right below it is the entire number again. Moving over to the center you'll see the entire number again at the bottom there, and the entire number again under the Republica in the middle of the thing, and then again over the Republica. So this thing is microprinted all over the place. You would need an extremely, extremely expensive printer uh, to pull this off. Not only that, you would need a working serial number, and you would have to match that serial number to the serial number that the vendors usually rip off. So, long story short, Dr. Joe does it again and lets you guys know, look for these numbers. Break out your little magnifying glasses, your science kits, you know, put on your goggles, whatever the fuck you got, and look for these numbers. And when you type these numbers in, they should match on the Habano SA website. To show you what I'm talking about, let's just pop over there right now. Uh, ba -ba 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 bang. Here is the Habanos SA website, and I will show you the way this works really quick. Let's take our box of Punch Metal de Oros. Uh, basically, you want to put input source, input manual. You're not going to be scanning. And uh, at this date, it's number four. These are older configurations. You're going to put in your stamp number. I'm going to have to move this back a little bit. And you're going to put in your stamp number, and in our case, we got... Uh, Bang, 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 wah, 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 I three, I three, uh, eh, eh, eh. Okay, and then you got to go down there and do one of these stupid things that I have to refresh a hundred times because as good as my eyesight is, being that I can see microprint, uh, I still can't make out these captures sometimes. I think that'll do it unless I got the capture wrong. We'll hit verify. And it's working. Working. Give it a minute. Be patient. It's got a lot of shit to look through. Plus, this site is always very slow. And there you have it. Let's zoom in on that. Information about the cigar. This product is original from Habanos SA, and it gives you a whole bunch of other numbers. Description, which should match what you have. Punch, Metal de Oro, 2011, SBN, WN, uh, 10GF, blah, blah, blah. 
Regarding the 2011, a lot of times the date will be a little before the date on the bottom of the box because there is the release date and then the date that your actual box was manufactured. That's that. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we went over all the anti-counterfeiting techniques and all the new things uh, they've added. And believe it or not, on top of all of that, there is yet one other thing that I didn't show you. Um, under here, under the government seal, there is actually another seal. And they started adding these to boxes. Oh, I don't know, 2011, 12, some, some of them a little earlier, but they're on pretty much all of them now. Uh, and it's the Cuba Tobacco Seal. Uh, it's the Cuba Tobacco brand seal that is put on at the factory uh, before it's shipped to the warehouse. So that seal goes on under, and then this seal is on top of it, so you can't see it. But if you take your finger and you can take your fingernail and kind of run it across the government seal, you could feel a stop right there and a stop right there. And what that is is, and then you go up here and you could feel it, it starts right there and it goes under. And that's the Cuba tobacco seal under there. I don't want to screw up this whole box. It looks really nice and I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. So instead of rip up my government seal because I know the fucking thing's under there, I'm just going to show it to you real quickly right here on the computer. Okay, unfortunately all I managed to capture is this tiny little uh, picture of the Cuba Tabac seal. But that is it. That is, I'm going to blow it up. It's going to look like crap, but at least you'll be able to see it a little better. Uh, let's see. Boom. And let me look at the camera. That's it. That's what it looks like. And that is under the government seal. So if you have a box from 2011 on, very likely it'll be under there. Go back to your box, take your fingernail, run it over the top, and you should be able to detect uh, a little raise on uh, here and there, and that's what that is. If you're unsure, of course, you can rip your seal up and you may see that under there. If you don't, don't freak out is all I could say. Make sure, like, just like I said about every other thing, if one thing's not there, check all the other things. You have, I don't even know now, what, two dozen different points to, to look at for possible counterfeiting? So if you see one thing that's a discrepancy, for instance, the shield not being folded over on the right spot anymore, or supposedly the right spot, we saw in this punch box and the poor Lauren Yaga box, both have serial numbers and codes embedded in everything. They check out online. There's just no possible way that they're not real. Uh, but yet the government seal remains where it is. So that's that. Uh, but technically, this thing should be, just like it is also on the punch box, under the government seal.